You're watching Spotlight America, and today we're doing a special Colorado edition in Crested Butte, Colorado. In Crested Butte, you immediately feel a difference that sets it apart from other mountain towns. There are no traffic lights and no chain stores. Just people who openly celebrate life every day with the genuine nature of the community and the pristine surroundings that capture you and won't let you go. We're here in Crested Butte, Colorado, named by Travel and Leisure Magazine as one of America's greatest small ski towns. Your time isn't just about a visit to ski an incredible mountain. It's about being away from your other world, finding adventure in an unspoiled setting, surrounded by majestic peaks, wide valleys, and being connected to the culture and lifestyle that is Crested Butte. The slopes at Crested Butte Mountain Resort are renowned for world-class skiing, but in the summer, thrill seekers come here for another way to get down the mountain. Here to tell us about it is Erica. So Erica, how does this gorgeous mountain transform in the summer? Well, it turns into a, a summer resort. We've got downhill mountain biking, cross-country mountain biking in our evolution bike park. We've got um, an adventure park with bungee trampoline and rock climbing. It's perfect for families, adventure seekers, like you said. So we have all these crazy bike racers around. What's going on? This week is Crested Butte Bike Week. Um, it's one of the oldest fat tire bike weeks to celebrate mountain biking and the history and enthusiasts, I should say. One of the uh, real popular events is the chainless downhill. I think I can kind of get it chainless downhill, but explain it. Okay, it's a downhill race and basically it's coasting. You've got no chains. Coasting. Um, yeah. <laughs> More like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Crested Butte has the crazy chainless downhill mountain bike race, other mountain bike races. They have the 18 hole miniature golf, the zip line. And I heard you mention something about bungee trampoline, which I want to do it. That's Can we for do you? it? We got it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to get serious with trampolining, extreme bungee jumping. <laughs> Lift me ropes. I'm not getting very high. She's gotta jump real hard for me. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, my God! Ready to flip? Oh my God! I want one of these in my house. Crested Butte Mountain Resort, Crested Butte, Colorado, U.S. All right, now we're gonna check out the lift, go on a little scenic tour right. here. Uh, we're right here at the base of the Silver Queen, and it's a good little ride. Let's go check out the Silver Queen. A picnic at 11,000 feet. The Silver Queen chairlift at the base of Crested Butte Mountain Resort in Mount Crested Butte whisks you up to 11,400 feet. Sightseers can hike to the 12,162-foot summit or stop for lunch and take in the stunning scenery. Does this work for you? I mean, I know we don't really have any great views here, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's not too shabby, is it? <laughs> um, we're surrounded by Crested Beauty. This is so gorgeous. So over here, this is Paradise Divide. We've got um, Red Lady Mountain, or Mount Emmons, it's also called. And then over to the right here is the Elk Mountain Range. So what's the elevation here? Right here, we're probably at 10, 5, 11,000 maybe. Uh, the peak up there is 12,162 feet above sea level. Um, and you can actually hike up there. There's a 45 minute hike you can take. And so you can get to the tippy top? The tippy, tippy top. And there you've got 360 degree views. And it's almost July. I'm in a tank top, but yet there's snow. Like we could have a snowball fight. We could, do you want to? Yeah. Snowball fights in July. Yeah. All right, Erica, thank you so much. You're this welcome. is gorgeous up here. <laughs> Let's go check out some more of beautiful Crested Butte.
I'm getting ready to fly down the mountain on the first of five zips. I got my hard hat, my protective eyewear, my um, ropes, and my protective moccasins. So I am ready to roll. Follow me to the platform. Here we go. And then I trusted my life in Phil's creative knot tying skills and belayed down. It was great. This is one of those spots in America that is a true slice of our country that you have to come and see. It's absolutely gorgeous. 